Johnson's triangle is a way of thinking about chemistry at three different levels. The macroscopic level, the sub-microscopic level, and the symbolic level. The macroscopic level considers things that we can observe. For example, I might be able to observe that salt is made up of small, white, cubic shaped crystals. Secondly, we might think about this same substance at the sub-microscopic level. And this is considering how we might model this substance at a level that we cannot see directly with our eyes. To explain the regularly shaped crystals of my salt, I might model at an atomic level as a lattice of oppositely charged ions like this. And this model is appropriate because it helps us explain some of the properties of salt as an ionic compound. Thirdly, I might consider this at the symbolic level. And this will involve representing my substance with some form of symbol or equation or formula or maybe even a graph. In the case of salt, I might simply represent it using the elemental symbols in the ionic formula NaCl. And it might also be useful to add a state symbol because we're talking about it when it's a solid. Let's consider one more example. Let's take the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen in a small explosion. At a macroscopic level, the level at which I can observe something, I might note the explosion and heat given off, perhaps even the noise. I might then consider at the sub-microscopic level, or the level I can't see, how molecules are bumping into each other in a chemical reaction. Notice that I've drawn models of my particles to consider how they rearrange during the chemical reaction. Thirdly, at the symbolic level, I need to consider how I am representing this process. And in this example, we might represent it using a chemical equation. As you work through the IB chemistry course, it's useful to consider at which level you are thinking about a concept. And then for conceptual understanding, you might want to try and link it to the other levels that are seen in this triangle. Hopefully this video was of some help.